The world is uh, a beautiful place. It has incredible mountain ranges and beautiful oceans and amazing wildlife and so many wonderful things that we can see. And yet it's also a place of, of pain and of suffering, of sickness, of famine, of war, of death. So how can it be then that God says he loves the world so much that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him would not die but would live forever? You know, God's plan for each one of us is that we would have life, life beyond our, uh, our wildest dreams, that we will have life in all its fullness both now and the assurance of life beyond the grave. And that we would have peace, peace in our heart with him, uh, friendship with him, relationship with him now. But God says we have a problem. We've, we've turned our back on God. We've gone our own way, turned our back on our creator, our designer. We live for ourselves. We, we think we know best and it leads to wrong thoughts and words and actions and, and indeed leads to many of the problems that we see in the world today. And ultimately, God says, it leads to death when we go our own way and the Bible calls that sin It's a bit of an old-fashioned word but it means we have rebelled against God and God says the consequence of our sin is death he puts it like this the wages of our sin is death and that's death physically and spiritually eternal separation from God in a place the Bible calls hell but there's good news today and the good news is this although the wages of our sin is death the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ this is where Jesus steps into the picture this is why people get excited about Jesus because God sent his son Jesus on a rescue mission for the world on a rescue mission for you and for me to, to forgive us to free us from the consequences of our sin and when Jesus died on the cross when he died on the cross, he was taking your sin and my sin upon himself. The wages of sin is death. And so Jesus died and they put his body in a tomb. And on the third day, God raised him from the dead. And the Bible says freeing him from the agony of death because it was impossible for death to keep its hold on him. And that's good news for us today. Death could not hold Jesus. The grave could not hold him. And death cannot hold those who are held by Jesus. And so my question for you is, are you held by Jesus? This is the gift of God. And God calls each one of us to himself to be reconciled, to be back in friendship with him, to, to know that life in all its fullness and that deep assurance that one day we will have eternal life with him in heaven. Indeed, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus, that if you would believe in him, you would not die, but would live forever. And so the call of God is to stop going your own way and, and to turn back and to face Jesus. Because in Jesus there is life. And as you trust Jesus, there is hope. And there is the promise of eternal life. And there is peace. In, in Jesus are all these things. And so my question to you is this day, what stops you saying yes to Jesus? What stops you coming to him? even this day.